Nigel, this event only kicked off a couple of minutes ago, but already we've got a couple of dozen people here just to register to vote. And this isn't the only event of its kind today. Earlier this afternoon, students at Malden High School were doing their best to make sure their other students are going to be ready to hit the polls this year. Tuesday, Malden High School students ensured their voice would be heard in this next election, holding a student-led voter registration drive for National Voter Registration Day. It's something that, I mean, everyone should do. It's not about, you know, political choices. It's about bringing us all together and something that we can all take part in. And it's super simple, so it's something that we should all do. Though young voters have typically had lower turnout rates during elections, according to Tufts, during the 2020 election, more than half the eligible young voters turned out across the country. These students hope that trend continues, competing against other student-led groups in the Greenville County School District to register the most students by the cutoff date, October 7th. Um, young people are underrepresented among voters nationally, and so it's important for them to let their voice be heard as well. Greenville NAACP Branch Secretary Lillian Brock Fleming says voting is vital to our democracy and future. It was not that long ago she remembered her family fought for the right to vote in 1965 and she cast her very first ballot. I never will forget standing in line with a gentleman who was 91 years old standing with his great grandson who was barely 30 voting for the very first time. I could not stop crying. She watched as one by one student volunteers, many too young to vote themselves, pulled aside classmates, registering more than three dozen in just about an hour's time to vote, a part of a national movement encouraging voting in this year's election. For anybody who always felt that America was not going anywhere, that there is no future for America, looking at this, you see there is hope and there's a future. And in Spartanburg today, several groups are coming together to celebrate National Voter Registration Day from 5 to 6. You can come out and make sure you're registered to vote. We're going to have more on that event later tonight on WYFF. Live in Spartanburg, I'm Peyton Furtado for WYFF News 4.